What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kuroko no Basket, episodes 13 and 14. The first one is called I Believe in I Believed Past Tense in You. We ended off a little rocky last episode, but regaining ourselves, recall re, re calming, recollecting our calm self. So we're about to go into this with some hopefully some change in attitude, with some change of pace. Hopefully we can shut Midorima down and there the rest of them, Takeo, everybody on their team. This is turning into actually my favorite game so far, and we're not even halfway through. We actually are exactly halfway through the first season of three seasons, so this is going to get crazy. I am very excited. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all of the shows I'm watching, all that is available one week ahead on the Patreon. Links are down below for you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the DAP channel. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Um, Kuroko no Basket, episode 13, I believe in you. Let's do it. No, that's the that's the wrong way to think about it. Yep. What would that be, Kuroko? A new pass. Is it? Oh. I thought it would be. An issue on our end, but it's such a fast pass that you might not even be able to catch it. Ten more minutes, fourth quarter. We're down fourteen. Let's go. We got the squad. Yeah, now that they're more tired and stuff like that. Great pass. Also, great pass. They were not expecting that over to Mito Bay with the great shot. Hell yeah. Mm, yeah, they're used to his selfish style. Let me score plays. They're not expecting him to go to the paint and then pass like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shouts out Kuroko. That is a valid statement, though. Our stamina is limited. And Kagami's so behind this time, he's not going to be able to block it, yeah. We gave it a number. How many? What are we thinking? She can tell by looking at his, sc his stats. Who's your limit? I love it. I love it. Keep one for the deciding moment. And use the other. We're going for it right now from behind him. Oh, that's kind of a good play. <laughs> yeah. Talk about a morale crusher. It's a bluff to let them feel like we have a lot more. If we're doing it this early into the quarter, they'll be a little bit nervous, a little bit, a little bit hesitant. True. He's gonna keep his eyes locked on him instead of his eagle vision, his Hawkeye vision. First, focus his vision. True, narrow the, the sight down just to a limited space, and then we can direct that somewhere else versus his wide gaps. That makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, that was sick. He made that go like three times faster. That was sick. I never even thought about that. Changing the ball's direction is normally what we do, but just maybe go the same direction but increasing it. Uh. Oh, he's gonna use he's gonna use some of his last remaining strength. He's gotta get this point. He's going for it. Yeah, you got dunked on. <laughs> How does it feel? The rest is up to you. We're kind of shot. We're kind of done for. Uh, who is this? Did you fake being sick to skip another game? This is another one of the Generation of Miracles, huh? She was the girl, like the manager of the team, right? Something like that. I like her hair. And you know with colored hair in this show comes importance. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my, we're only down two? When you think about it in terms of, yeah, I could totally see what he's saying. Like your morale, your confidence, the other aspects that give you a lot more benefit, something like that, you know? 
liking that footwork. Kuroko with the beautiful steal. Get off his mark. And then once they knew, yep, they had to try to finish it out. That was very well played. Very well played in terms of a strategy. Shouts out, Rico. Facts. That is true. I like that representation. It feels personally invested for his, his boys, his school. The heart. Mm. I feel that. I respect that. I fuck with that. So they're gonna have yeah there's gonna be an opening where midorima can make a three which is sad and their defense is pretty damn great you know no one's been able to score a single single point one more minute we're down two. Oh, uh, we were not able to get that now we're down to five we're gonna need to score a three and a two just to tie it up bring it to overtime that was the three good oh no okay so that's our ball with what like 15 16 seconds left yeah 15 seconds left oh, <laughs> oh this is nerve-wracking and we got old subo on, on junpei yep that three would win us the game right now that is true we should go for the dub versus overtime but who's going for the three though we know kuroko can't kakami might Are we going to have Junpei, the captain, get this final point? Ooh, great screen, Kagami. What, are you going to push through it? Okay. Is he going to pull a Midorima? Junpei with the under pressure shots, the captain? My man is wet. Wait, there's still time left? I like how time is literally frozen in place. They're having this conversation within a millisecond of time, you know? I will not leave it up to chance, RNG, anything. He always secures them with his hand. With the lightning, the storm, everything going on. No one was expecting this. I wasn't even expecting this. And Midorima goes right back up. And his legs are buckling. He cannot <laughs> go beyond plus ultra. Surpass your limits. Come on. He pump faked him. He actually, that's actually respect that he did that. He did that in order to, be, oh, wow. That was good. That was good. That was insane. <laughs> a pump fake with a second, two, three seconds left on the clock. So he was ready for the fake. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so well done. He's like, just like you, I also thought Kagami would jump. And so just like you, I thought you would bait him out. So I was ready for you baiting him. Oh, Kuroko saving the day. Oh my god. I was so hyped for Kagami. But ooh. We beat two of the big three, right? In our prefecture? For our area? Damn. See, I can't tell if that's rain or a tear. Could be either. I like that. I like that symbolism. I like that shot. It obviously looks like a rain at this point. He doesn't look like he would cry. <laughs> the music in the background come on oh we're getting we're getting hype for the next aomine is that not yami and eraserhead his voice actor is aomine not badass already okay <laughs> gotta write his name down all right, on to episode 14. Before we get into this, I do want to let you guys know I found out that Aomine, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I thought I recognized his voice actor. It is not only Yami Sukihiro, but also Eraserhead. 
from my hero. So already like him so, so much from that. And I do believe we're going to have a new opening in this episode. So I'm going to be watching this full through right here. Very excited. I was not expecting it to break down that hard. I really like these colors of the characters. Kisei, Midorima, Aumine. Look at our squad, the boys. Ooh, the blue light flashing. Ooh, that looked badass as all hell, I can't lie. That opening was a bop. I love the team. I still do think I like the first opening better, but that was really good. Or enemies now. So Aumine is obviously very confident in himself. What are, what are the odds? Oh, we have the whole squad in here. Three of the six generation of miracles. And we just beat them and they're in here as well. I know, right? Okay, yep. You are eating here. <laughs> So now it's just us four. Three Generation of Miracles and the new boy, Kagami. What the hell is going on? Kagami's ordering 75 things. Midorima <laughs> saying, how would you eat that shit? Yeah, it only motivates, only motivates Kisei to get better, which I, I fuck with. This is why I always like shows like Haikyuu, Kuroko. They take it personally, but only to improve themselves, you know? Before they won three consecutive times, I see. I do like their personal motivations for why they're playing, you know. I need to know more. I want to know their backstories, if I'm honest with you. He's like, we will never speak of this again. He's going to go beat his ass. <laughs> really? I think that's the biggest thing for when it comes to improving yourself at a certain thing. You have to have a passion for it. You have to love it, you know. Aomine,、ah, got it. Ooh. Ooh. I sure hope we can. It was great watching it. With the music in the background. On to the Championship League. Our next major enemy is Aomine. Oh, this is the dog I saw in the opening. I was wondering why we had a dog in the opening. Are we just gonna get a dog? Look at that. How are we not taking that dog? Oh my, I'm so glad. I'm so glad Rico's the same. Yes. Uh huh. Such a big brawling man can't handle a little little puppy. We're going back to our training arc. One of my favorite parts of any show. Great passes. I I love how they do that just in general in practice, just like in high Q. Nice toss. Nice serve. Nice pass. Like we don't do that over here in the states. They say brick. You suck! I swear to God. Aww. I'll kill you later. Water、um, aerobics are very good. The, the, what am I trying to say? Not the tension, but the resistance. The resistance that's added on from the water. Oh, yeah, it makes working out like that way harder. Conditioning, real good. I agree. I never even thought of this for, for like, 
training, but this is some great training. Shouts out Rico. <laughs> This is the other generation of Miracle. This is the one with Almine, right? And it's crazy to think this fine woman is uh, Momoi. Yeah, she fell in love with Kuroko. My man, my man pulls the ladies. <laughs> You gave me a pop school. Can't go wrong with that. You give me a pop school, I'll fall in love with you too. So she felt kind of left out. Oh, winner. It's like a golden ticket. Really <laughs> long a shot right through her heart. Junpei's like, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, I don't know. He's not looking her in the face. <laughs> uh, clutch shooter. Obviously, as a manager, she would need to know all of them. Eagle eyed Izuki. The fucking, my man, Mitobe. I swear I love Mitobe so much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> The barely B. Don't say it like that. Don't say it. the barely B coach. Those are loyal puppers. He knows you're an enemy. Well, Momoi so far, I must say. Don't get me wrong. Rico is still my waifu. I would never cheat on my woman. But Momoi's, you know, what can I say? That's why you can't start training too early. You really do have to let it fully rest. Oh. That's him. I only hear Yami. I only hear he raise her head. Oh, I love his voice actor so much. This is not the best time for us to be having a test one on one because our legs are still not as they should be. So, this man's talking some shit. He is literally like Hisoka or Mihawk. He just wants some fun. He's like, I know you're not going to be stronger than me. Well, let's just have a little fun. <laughs> From Kisei to Minorima to Aomine. You're breaking new records of pissing me off. Oh my god. Don't end the episode here. Just like he used to play, and they're talking about Omina. Oh, another tease. Oh, that was Kisa. Okay. That's Levi. There are so many voice actors in this show that I recognize and I love it. Kuroko's a shadow. That's what exactly what he said with Kagami, yeah. I mean, I get it. I he is he must be insane if we got other generation of miracles saying that, you know. But he never loses. Damn. What do you have to say about that, Momui? Oh, I really do like her so far. Now we get a little tease as to his strength, and we're getting humbled ourselves. And that's exactly what he said to Kagami, too. So, so he's this is hitting Kagami personally right now. That's what I saw in the opening. Oh my god. I love how they're blue and red. Your light is weak. Too dim. Oh my god, that was a bar. This is hitting Kagami as deep as anyone could hit him right now. Because he's supposed to be the light to Kuroko's shadow. Ooh. God. God damn. All right. Holy moly. Talk about a couple of episodes. I thoroughly enjoyed that. 
again i talked about it before but i'm gonna keep continuing to say it i i like we had an entire season of haikyuu on a singular match don't get me wrong it was a championship match so it was definitely important we had an entire 10 episode season based on a single match and we are having like these the pacing of this is so good like not only are we already done with midorima we can obviously fight him again that was like a prelim inter a pre that was don't get me wrong that was still very eventful and important but that was like we got mad stuff we can do later so we still can see him again we've already gone against two of the five generation of miracles and met the third and getting teases of the fourth and we're just got halfway through the first season oh my god the, the potential of where this could go is insane i am so ready for how far this could go i am so ready to meet aomine some more love yami eraserhead great voice actor so ready to see uh, another person of the gom because they're voiced by levi oh my god i love his voice actor as well i am just super super excited great tease moment we actually really like as well she's kind of kind of you know what i'm saying but shouts out rico shouts out the new doggy kuroko number two <laughs> um oh all in all awesome episodes thoroughly excited thoroughly loving the show if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out the social medias instagram tiktok twitter all at dapper darius if you guys want early access and full link check out that patreon don't forget to drink out some water don't forget to drink out some don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace